Hi everyone, my name is Chantelle and welcome back to another video. Later in this video I will tell you a bit more about the Patreon site I've just launched. Today is a little different as I have not done this kind of miniature before. It is a miniature in a matchbox. There is not a lot of space to work with but I wanted to give it a go. I started by cutting a keyhole in the matchbox sleeve by drawing it first on a scrap piece of paper, cutting it out and then tracing it onto the matchbox. I wanted to give the illusion of looking through a keyhole and finding a little tranquil place. I took the matchbox apart so it was easier to work with and cut out the keyhole. With some polymer clay I created an edge around the keyhole. I first applied liquid Sculpey to make the clay stick to the cardboard. I went around the keyhole twice with a snake of polymer clay. To the inside of the box. I rolled out some brick red Sculpey with my pasta roller, cut it to size, put some liquid Sculpey on the inside of the box and covered the inside of the box with the brick red clay. The base is grey and the top is a light blue. Next time I would probably put some brick red at the top as well. I don't know if this gives the illusion of it being a sky. Then I started adding the detailing of the bricks, but I soon found out that I made them way too large for this tiny miniature. I went over with a smoothing tool and created smaller bricks, which is way better. Then I added some brick texture by tapping a piece of tin foil against the brick texture. Now for some cute details. I rolled out a thin snake of brown clay, cut it into 3 to 4 pieces and twisted them together to make the tree. I placed the tree in the corner and added texture. I wanted to have a little bench underneath the tree, so I took some brown clay, rolled it out, cut it into thin strips and textured it. Out of some wire I created the bench legs and attached the clay planks with liquid Sculpey.
painted the entire box black, front and back, and glued it back together. After baking the miniature according to the package instructions, I grabbed some colors of acrylic paint and started adding shading. I mainly used a watered down dark brown and black for this. The highlights are done with a light beige. Then it's time to add some moss, one of my favorite things in miniatures. This time however it's not used to be moss but the tree foliage and shrubs underneath the tree and next to the bench. Alright I have some exciting news to share with you guys. I launched a Patreon site. You can find the link in the description box below. It's mainly to support me as an artist, but there are some nice perks in certain tiers. There will also be Patreon exclusive giveaways and polls. And now back to the miniature. I added some dark green acrylic paint to the tree foliage to give it a bit more dimension. Then finally I added Dragonfly Glaze Glitter Paint by Folk Art. This just adds that little touch of magic. It's very hard to catch on camera. I added a color shift paint by Folk Art to the clay on the box sleeve and finished it with moss and more of the dragonfly glaze. And this is the final result. There are a few things I would definitely do a little bit different in the next one. Let me know in the poll if you would like to see me more of these Matchbox miniatures and what you would like to see me do with them. I'm thinking windows and doors. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials and Patreon site. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!